West Africa, Spain and France combined is a gigantic one on hold. Iceland and the British Empire combined is a one on hold as well. Italy is a one on hold too. I'm very red player in this game. I'll cap in Finland and try taking over the Russian Empire. Six troops by purple. Six troops by yellow. The yellow player comes from Germany, guys, and he actually... He might actually be taking over it completely. Five troops by blue. The blue player kept in Sahara Desert. Not a border territory, but if he got a lot of troops in West Africa total, then it might still be a good idea. Otherwise, a super risky choice. Four to five, seven troops back. Seven troops by green. And right now the green player is making some blitzes in Eastern Europe, guys, but it doesn't seem he's going for it. He might be just simply trying to increase his territory count. Seven throws by pink. The pink player kept in Gascony, which is a one point border for Spain and West Africa combined, but decides to add more troops to North Africa and take over it first. Which might actually be a smart choice, guys, if he actually ends up holding it. Eight throws by me, let's add them right there. What I want to do is to take over the Russian Empire, guys. Okay, well, we failed this blitz, but we should still have enough troops to take over the Russian Empire. Yes, we do, so the question is... If we can actually end up holding it. Seven throws by purple. So the purple player then must be in Iceland. Good to know. I especially kept in Finland. Rather than any other place in the Russian Empire. So what I have a strong defense against the noob corner player. Who got one point hole guys? I'm okay and the yellow player. The yellow player actually tries breaking from me right? Okay well no. Unless you miss clear guys right there. Six throws by blue. Thanks the yellow player. Sounds alright. Let's see 13 throw Pardon me guys. So blue player could finish taking over West Africa it seems. So maybe not as a bad choice as I fought before. So unless somebody kept in Andalusia right there. Nine troops by green. The green player ends up holding something which could either be Italy or the Maric Alps. Hopefully he gets into a conflict with yellow. Eight throws by pink. The pink player ends up holding North Africa. Next he could expand to Southeastern Europe it seems. Nobody is going for Orient too but it would require for pink to capture many more territories. So Southeastern Europe is a better choice. 13 throws by me. Going to properly defend those borders. That's for sure. Let's just simply go right there guys. I'll check out Sevastopol and here's the green player's army. Or should I rather see a single troop? If I want I could kill guard the green player. 10 throws by purple. So the purple player ended up holding Iceland and the British Empire combined, right? Let's see, will he break through Germany, guys? No. And Seth wiping me out from France, but he didn't know what was on the capital of the pink player in Gascony. 11 throws by yellow, so the yellow player still ends up holding Germany, which is interesting. Also, has anybody taken over the Nari Cups, guys? Here's the biggest question. 12 throws by blue. So surprise, surprise, but the blue player actually ends up holding the Starica, guys. Wow. Hopefully, he takes over Spain, so this way he discovers the pink player's capital, and the pink player will be forced to keep adding more troops. This way, I might be able to take over Orient and this entire right side of myself. Nine throws by green. I see him capturing multiple territories looking at the dice movement. And actually a lot of them. Five throws by pink. So the pink player must have gotten broken by the green player it seems, right? Thirteen throws by me. Let's expand to Eastern Europe but I'm going to strengthen my capital at the same time as well. Let's go. Let's wipe out the green player from this place guys. And let's take over those territories as well guys. That's where I'll see yellow, right? Yes. Here's the yellow player guys. Here's the green player. I'll just simply send a this bump and I'll end my turn. Or should have rather fortified my troops, guys, at where to Kharkiv. 10 troops by purple, guys, and where is the purple player, guys? Why do not I see him expanding to Scandinavia, guys? And with me saying that, guys, here's a 24 to Parma, guys, will he blitz my capital? Let's see, no, guys. Fortifies back, I'm definitely not unleashing his army by attacking to Stockholm. 11 troops by yellow. So, only got one of your hulls, guys. Let's see, hopefully he breaks for green, not for me. And right, well, he just somebody takes over the Nari Cups, I guess. 17 throws by blue, guys. The blue player has expanded to Spain. That's actually an interesting snowball. The leader is at you, guys. He takes over the pink player's capital in Gascony. Let's go. 13 throws by green. I'll send him off his bump. And he trades on a set before a hand, guys. He trades 
Creating the lowest amount of troops possible. Three troops by pink, guys. He's getting absolutely destroyed. Got invaded by green. And then the blue player took his capital. So no surprise that he even quits the game. 23 troops by me. Let's obviously strengthen this capital, guys. 21 troops should be strong enough. Now I want to capture a single troop territory right there as well. And obviously going to protect both of my borders. Let's go. And let's fortify this way. 10 throws by purple. So he's basically stuck right there, guys, in this corner. Will he dare breaking through the yellow player, though? He could still potentially be in France, though, if a blue player hasn't wiped him out. 10 troops by yellow. So still holding one of those holds. Trades in a 6 drop set. Trades in a set beforehand as well, guys. 12 troops by blue. And I mean only 12 troops, guys. So he basically only holds West Africa. Somebody must have broken through Gascony and Spain right there. The leader is still obviously at you guys, but who is that leader? I do not know. 17 troops by green, guys. Wow. Hopefully he doesn't expand to Orient. I did not like to expand it myself. And so right where he is going for Orient, guys, I guess that is fine. Or is that though, guys? Should I consider breaking through green, guys? Because he's really snowballing the game. Let's see if that will last territory of pink, guys. Yes, it is. Kinda bad, guys. Wanted to consider going into a war with him, but now I do not know. I shall obviously be able to trade on a set, guys. So have to think carefully. 23 throws by me. Alright, well, I guess I'll strengthen this capital, guys. Do not want to break through either yellow green, so unfortunately I have to go right there, guys. But that's fine, we just simply end up taking over this single troop territory. Maybe the green player once he trades on a set will use his troops to push into the yellow player, guys. But could be possible that he attacks me as well, so we'll see. Now the power player trades on a set. He received 10 troops total, guys. So he doesn't have his capital man in Gascony. Nine throws by yellow. Alright, since I crank him out, guys, will he potentially ever break through me or green? Hopefully the green player it is. I'll send him off his bomb. Okay, yes, yes, that's the green player, guys. Yes. And 19 throws by blue. Hopefully the green player trades in a set and wastes a lot of troops on the yellow player. This way I'd be able to attack the green player myself. The blue player bow ends up retaking over this one pin hole, guys. And receives even 19 troops. So in that regard, I should be very careful of what I want to do. 15 troops by green. He trades not well troops sent. Finishes taking cover Orient. And will we see his big army right there, guys? Yes, he ends up breaking for yellow. Let's go. And... This is splitting your troops, guys, so far not. 73 troops by me. I'll trade in a set. Two more troops on Lithuania. And I'll just simply take over Prussia right there. Let's go. Here's the yellow player's capital, guys. That's good to know. It's also very big. 10 troops by purple. He trades in a 20 troop set. 35 troop army. Though he bumps into my 39 troop army. So he won't be able to break through me at all. He still keeps attacking territories. So will he deal some damage to blue? And he's fortifying troops out of his cap. 5 troops by yellow. Trades in a 25 troop set, guys. 33 troop army. A single territory. I don't know, he'll check out that capital in Gascony. It will be hilarious to see if he actually eliminates the blue player out from the game. So far he still keeps attacking territories, wow. The leader is at 3 guys, but he doesn't eliminate blue. 3 troops by blue. Does the blue player have a set here's the biggest question. And yes he does guys, wow. Not good news to yellow. The blue player takes over one of the caps. Or even two of them. Keeps capturing territories, but we still do not see his army. 76 throws by green and I should be really concerned. Also, does he have a free territory to attack? He could be locked behind me and the yellow player's capital. Well, I still see the dice movement. So he still got a territory. So when free throws by me, I can just simply capture a territory right where I, or I could try to see what's inside right where, guys. I'll trade in a set. And let's actually go to this place, guys. Let's see three troop army guys for blue player is actually so weak. Wow, he wasted so many troops. Let's see, let's go guys. Here's another capital. Let's leave some troops. Not eliminating him from the game, guys. Maybe he gets me an another card. 11 throws by purple. He doesn't have a set. Also must be the last territories of the yellow player. The yellow player must be really weak, guys. Let's see if the purple player might break from me, though. 
seems he's taking over Germany bow. Okay, but we blue player flags, guys. Five throws by yellow. So when a six throw par me, takes over the Nara Cups. So when a six throws by green. So far away green player is the strongest rival, guys. He could do the most of damage to me. He trades now 40 throw sets. Will he eliminate yellow? Let's see 109 throw par me, guys. Blitz is the yellow player. The yellow player is eliminated from the game. Let's see how he breaks from me as well, but right there I still got some armies. He should still do 11 versus 11, guys. Phew, that doesn't end up working out for him. Well, he could still go right there, guys, for the power player. Yes. Alright. Blitzes might well through army as well, guys. Will he lock his army in Sevastopol, though? And... No, he doesn't, but he doesn't fortify his troops in time, guys, though. Nice. Let's go. Should I take over this capital for myself, or should I give it to the power player, guys? Okay, well, I see. Here's another free capital right there. Let's go. Let's take over it. And I think since I do not have enough troops to defend, guys, I'm be giving it away to the purple player. And for this case, I'm unleashing the green player's army right there, guys. Now let's just simply go right there. And I want to make the purple and green player waste their troops on each other, guys, in some way. Let's see a okay, well, the purple player doesn't take over this capital, at the very least not yet, guys, but he does right now. Yes. Alright, and tries taking over Italy. Will he fortify some troops, guys? And yes, he's fortifying to the capital. Also, how many troops does he have in Scotland, guys? Wonder if I could have gone for the cap run. Nine throws by green. Right, but well, still doesn't read in a set. Yes, he does. 110 troop army. Let's see. So far, he is coming this way, guys. If he wastes those troops on the purple player, then that will be super cool. We'll see. Yes. Goes through the purple player, guys. All right, well, okay, well, six or something troops of the green player right there. 19 troops by me. All right, so I'd like to check out things right there, guys. Let's see it. Then a six troop army right there, guys. Six to four troop army right there. Here's a free capital, I'll take over it. Let's go. And the green player doesn't even guard things right there, guys. Let's go. And let's actually wipe out the purple player out from this place. Let's do it. Let's fortify my 19 troop army right there. So if the green player tries retaking over it, then he'd potentially waste a lot of troops. Now the purple player actually trades in a 50 troop set. 61 troop army total. Let's see. All right. Well, so far he goes into the direction I'd like him going, guys, unless he takes over this Italian capital. But if he does, then the green player has some blitzes with us, right? It's your key blitzes and loses so many troops, guys. So on one hand, the strategy works out, but not really in the way I intend. Ended it to work out. Nine throws by green. Let's see, he'll try retaking over North Africa. So far, he's retaking over both guys, but will he blitz the purple player's army in Italy? Yes, he does, guys. Loses even 20 troops. Wow. All right, well, he breaks into Burgundy as well, guys. And will he fortify back? This capital could still be empty, right? Should I eliminate the blue player, guys, at this point? I think yes, because I'm missing out those West African troops. 18 troops. I'll trade in a set. 55 troops total. Let's go. Let's eliminate the blue player out from the game. And now let's see what can I do in this place, guys. All right, well, that's a free capital. I'll take over it. Now let's leave the green player's troops locked. Let's just simply take over as many territories right there, guys. Let's see. We'll end up wiping out the green player out from this place as well. Let's go. We should hurry up, guys, because I would like to wipe him out from North Africa as well. Alright, and now let's fortify right there. 10 troops by the purple player, guys, and he got his 26 troop army unleashed. He could still do a lot of damage to us, and what about if the green player got a set at 3? Let's see. So far he stops, guys, the purple player stops. 9 troops by green. Let's see if he does have a set, because if he doesn't, guys, I end up holding so many cards, guys, at war, but of course he does. Let's see if he tries to take over this capital back, so far not. But maybe after breaking through those, he just simply fortifies his troops back to a locked place. But so far he keeps breaking breaking through my holds. Breaks through Germany and should make it to France as well, but he won't be able to take over my capital on Gascony. Let's see. Yes. And alright, well, he fortifies it to a lock place, guys. Now, should I prevent the power player from getting a card? I think yes. So, first of all, I have to put more troops right there. Now, let's rank in this capital by a little bit. And I'll use the rest of my troops to retake over both. Let's go. Alright. Let's fortify it right like this, guys. 
ten throws by purple, but purple player won't be able to get a card, he'll have to fortify his troops out from his locked place, or if he leaves them in a locked place, then it's even better. And yes guys, he just simply skips a card, so it makes things so much easier now. A big green player breaks through the Russian Empire and should be able to break through Southeastern Europe, Orient and North Africa as well guys, but that's fine, let's see if I can car block the green player too. Do I have a certain yes? Yes I do guys. 35 throws by me, I'll trade in a set. Let's put more troops right there, let's do it. Let's put more throws at work guys as well. Let's make it 75 troop armies actually. And let's go with this army over there. Alright. Let's go, let's retake over these. Now North African territories as well guys. And we'll see what will be green player do now. He won't be able to get a card either guys. Both of those players have been card blocked at once. Wow. I'm not playing them so good. The purple player even bots out. 9 throws by green, he set 2 cards, he doesn't have a set. Let's see if he does the final bet, guys, yes he does. He surrenders the game, let's add my troops right there. Let's eliminate the green player from the game, guys, he raised the white flag, he took the last available place. 2 extra cards, and let's see how many troops that the purple player have. 46 troop army, we take over the British Empire as well, guys. The final capital. And that's a GG. Beginner, intermediate, intermediate, novice, and beginner.